In an unexpected twist within the British monarchy, King Charles III has elevated Lady Louise Windsor to the status of princess, igniting debates about the relevance and future of royal titles in modern society. This decision, rooted in familial bonds yet steeped in tradition, raises questions about the monarchy's evolution and its ability to connect with a public growing increasingly critical of its role. Before we continue, please subscribe for the latest news about the British royal family. Lady Louise, the youngest daughter of Prince Edward and Sophie, Countess of Wessex, has often lived in the shadows of her more prominent cousins, Prince William and Prince Harry. Her elevation to princess is not merely a ceremonial gesture. It signifies a profound shift in how the monarchy views its younger members. As social media erupted with hashtags celebrating her new title, one can't help but wonder if this move is a desperate bid to regain public favor amid mounting scrutiny of royal relevance in a rapidly changing world. This transformation reflects a broader trend within the royal family, particularly since the passing of Queen Elizabeth II. King Charles's decision to bestow a princess title upon Louise can be seen as an attempt to adapt to modern expectations. The monarchy, long perceived as an archaic institution, is now trying to present itself as relatable and inclusive. Yet, this raises the question, is this genuine reform or merely a superficial attempt to placate the public? Louise's journey has not been without challenges. Growing up in the royal bubble, she faced health issues that her family worked hard to keep from the media glare. This commitment to normalcy amidst privilege has crafted a persona that many find relatable. However, her new title brings with it a weight of expectation that may prove burdensome. The responsibilities of royal duty, charitable work, public representation, could easily overshadow her individuality, turning her into another figurehead in the royal machine. The public's reaction to Louise's elevation has been a mix of excitement and skepticism. While many celebrate her journey from a private child to a princess, others question the necessity of royal titles in a democratic society. The monarchy's historical ties to privilege and power clash with contemporary values of equality and meritocracy, making this moment a flashpoint for debate. Is Lady Louise's new title a reflection of progress, or does it simply reinforce outdated structures of hierarchy? As the new princess of the United Kingdom, Louise has the potential to shape her role in a way that resonates with younger generations. Her interest in the arts and education could allow her to advocate for meaningful causes. However, the question remains, will she be allowed to pursue her passions freely, or will she be constrained by the rigid expectations that come with her title? The monarchy's past has often stifled individuality in favor of tradition. It remains to be seen whether this will change with the younger royals. In essence, Lady Louise Windsor's elevation to princess is a microcosm of the monarchy's struggle to redefine itself in a modern context. It is a narrative steeped in contradictions, an attempt to bridge tradition and progress while grappling with the inherent challenges of royal life. As we watch this new chapter unfold, it becomes clear that the story of Lady Louise is not just about her. It is emblematic of the royal family's ongoing battle for relevance in a society that increasingly questions the necessity of its existence. The future of the monarchy hangs in the balance, and the world will be watching closely as Princess Louise navigates her new role.